real comfort is going out of comfort and feel your body that you are in control even when the severest of stress is ongoing. When you are capable of doing that, then you really bring this deep connection, deep understanding, deep feeling. We have all the tools inside. We are born with them. We should learn how to use them. It's like the mechanisms and it has a button. You can increase the volume of that. If you don't hear yourself from the inside, increase the volume. We are able to take over what actually is ours. And that is our happiness, our strength, and our uh, uh, health, and to fend off uh, stress mechanisms. We got so much technology, and how poor we are in our, the quality of our own life. Technology is great, but also get the biotechnology going. And that's your own brain I'm talking about. And that brain is the seat of the mind. My journey is to show that we are born with the capacity to uh, handle our own happiness, which is the hormonal system, our own health, which is the immune system, and our own uh, energy or power, which is uh, cell mechanisms. The power to adapt to the stressor in general. We lost this connection is because we wear clothes all the time and we live in a comfort zone behavior. We think we can control nature, but by being non-stimulative in our behavior, we lost the connection in the depth of our physiology. Because we are able to adapt about to anything. Mm. We are built to be able to adapt without stress into any stressful situation and get a solution. The body knows, but because we got into this comfort zone behavior hundreds of years, our genetics have changed, our physiology has changed, everything has changed, and we lost actually the full power of the mind. And I'm here to bring it back. And I am showing this all through science. So I made it tangible that what was out in the open now is within our conscious choice. I make something that was always there to become happy, strong, healthy. We have shown this already scientifically. I show in a comparative study that a group of people, good, within a couple of days, do things thought of uh, impossible by humans, that, that was amazing, because that changes the paradigm. That changes already, hey, if that is possible, what else is possible? What do we lack in? What do we actually seek in life? That is happiness, that is strength, that is health. If we uh, name one problem in the world, it is stress. And we psychologically are not able uh, to prevent our bodies from the impact of stress. We suffer from the stress. We can only go as far. Simple techniques of breathing makes you a possible alchemist. The alchemist uh, within you are able to tap into your own physiology and get rid of the intruder. Our neurology needs activation, needs stimulation. And the weather before in the prehistorics did it. That was the cold and the heat and the pressure and the danger. Now the dangers are still there. Only our bodies weakens. The human psychology is able to master the physiology. That sounds like brain over body, mind over matter. 
and that was always there, somewhere, but not within us. This is the way I started. My wife jumped from an eight-story down in 95, four children, had no money, just there with four children. My children made me survive and nature healed me, and that was the cold. Because in the cold, you shut up, and all this turmoil, the emotional confusion, the broken heart, it's all physical, it's all real. The cold is able to shut it up, shut it down, and survive. And with that, I came slowly but surely in control over my emotions. And uh, now I'm able to make uh, people aware of that capacity, even without uh, cold showers and all this thing. But that's where it came from. Now, I was powerless then with my wife, who was uh, schizophrenic and psychosis, that put all kinds of pills in and uh, injections. They don't work whatsoever. There I was, powerless. But now I'm empowered. I, uh, in the subcurrent, I'm working now with those kids. And they work with me and we get to spread this all over the world that we found a way how to deal with emotion. If you are not able to connect with what is going wrong within your own body, using your own mind, then something is wrong. We bring people to the consciousness that they are actually built to be able to enter into the deepest part of the brain and with that actually any other part as well and that's the power of the mind we can be without food we can be in the cold we can be in the heat but without breathing only a couple of minutes so we went very controlled you felt okay like nice the most of stress possible it's almost contradictory. Yes. But this is uh, the way how, not to trick, but how to deal with the mind. And the deepest part of the mind is also the seat of the emotion. This is what you learn to appease. So people with depression, with psychosis, with fear, trauma, all those things hidden and bothering uh, the person in life, they are now able to appease all that by going into the deepest part of the brain and learning how to regulate through this simple breathing technique. Is that possible? Yes, it's there! <laughs> with the will and wanting to uh, uh, go ahead with life and uh, uh, meet your dream state of being, uh, realize your dreams. It's all there. Mm. And uh, the simple thing is, uh, uh, through drama in my life, I found this. If you go into the, to the ice, you're really not thinking about your mortgage or your wife or this or that. You're not going to picnic. You feel, the focus will be on your feeling how to get this feeling into adaptation and to overcome whatever is coming and it goes directly the cold has been my teacher i just follow the teacher the feeling uh, learned to let go intuitively i felt I want to do this. I did yoga, I did kung fu, I did all kinds of things and, and uh, uh, great. But the call is really merciless but righteous. And I was ready to go in. I felt intuitively I want to go in because it, it has got something. I don't know what it is. And yes, I went in and I felt it. The connection was there beyond any word. And that's what I was looking for, the stepping into deeper parts of the brain, feeling pure energy, feeling power, innate capacitated power we have to deal with that. I was looking for that. I began to realize, but it's all in the mind. So if you do the breathing before you go to sleep, or if you do the cold showers, then you will sleep better. So, cold shower a day keeps the doctor away yes and it's good
Okay, feel it in. Letting go. Feel it coming in. Pull it. Letting go. 